Setting up the environment for success means really understanding how to use that home environment. It's, it's not a school. And so really trying to help parents understand how do you follow your child's lead, uh, just as I explained a moment ago about seeing what the child is looking at, bringing it into play, uh, getting a, a, the child in actively uh, involved in it, finding educationally uh, relevant and interesting learning activities. So the kids who are older, if they, what are they interested in learning about? Is it something that's uh, sciencey? Is it something that's with um, art? Is it some sort of a sport activity? Use that as your focal point. Capturing teaching moments. Uh, so with younger children, I often say bath time, car time. Those are two times when we can actually capture some good uh, communication time. For the older children, uh, you know, when around um, hobbies and activities, around uh, friend activities, around music and those kinds of, of things, capturing that teaching moment, that opportunity to practice and implement that intervention technique in a time when the child has some interest in it. Prompting and reinforcing those skills, they have to understand what the targeted skill is, and then knowing how to reinforce it when it sounds right, when it is right, and modeling and expanding. So if a, a child is um, uh, has uh, sort of limited communication, how do you get that to become more of a conversation? What ways can you prompt? So these kinds of home activities can be, uh, to, again, talk about one, don't talk about all five, figure out one that you can work on together and, and focus on getting the parent comfortable uh, with doing that as a framework for um, practicing intervention uh, techniques.